Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm Leanne. I'm Paul. Yes, I'm Gary. Yeah. Our video is about sectarian division in Clawley. Yeah. There is two primary schools in Clawley. One's Catholic, one's Protestant. There's a secondary school in Clawley and it's Catholic. Um, and that means like Protestant, Protestant yeah. ones have to go out and the dairy to go to school because like, they'd obviously feel really intimidated when they're Catholic school. I like Claudia because it's a wee village and a lot of my friends love here. Uh, I like calling the meet up with my mates on a Thursday night here at the Diamond Centre and the youth division here just. The Gaelic players have their own ground and the footballers have their own ground. So it shows then again it's divided. But there are two, there, Claudia does have two separate football teams, Claudia United and Claudia Rovers. Um, one for Catholics and one for Protestants, which is there even the separation that they don't mix and stuff like that. More youth um, activities that could bring maybe people from different religious backgrounds together and then maybe it would make it a better community. Obviously for Protestants and Catholics to mix, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Every area, like the house and estates, the bars, majority is all Catholic bar, one part, one bar for Protestants that they would go to. Um, one, maybe one house and estate in Claudie, maybe, and then there's Cumber Claudie, which is not really Claudie, it's like the outside of Claudie, and then there's just, that's about a primary school. And then they don't really have any, like, there's nowhere else for them to really go to. So but behind us here is the youth club that's in Clory and it's um, maintained by the Catholic Church. So I kind of feel as if it's more Catholics would go to it than Protestants. <laughs> well in Clory there is a couple of pubs and they're um, divided because one of them is just mainly Catholic and there's one on its own that's Protestant. So like I don't think that's really good because it's it separates the community, really. It just divides it all together. In 1972, a chain of three bombs went off here in the village of Clary. Nine people were killed in that incident, and this is how they're remembered. We think this is a really bad area for a bomb memorial because it's beside a public car park, and there's cars there every day, and it's beside a road as well, and it's always full of cars. And if, some, if the families of the people who died in it, wanted to come and pay their respects or anybody wanted to come and pay their respects they can't do it in peace because there's cars going up and down the road like and it's just it's not really appropriate place for a memorial really in the past 10 years the bomb memorial was stolen and it's a sick kind of attack but what i don't understand why would somebody want to steal a memorial that represents both sides of the community i learned that uh, there isn't much uh, reason for people in Claudia to be separated other than history. A problem in Claudia would be that there's five bars within the village and um, four of them are Catholic and one's Protestant. Um, the division between the schools, I think the fact that there's a Catholic high school and there's no Protestant high school, I think that's not fair. The divisions, the division in the pubs is a big one, the way you've got three Catholic pubs and one Protestant pub. So. 